LA COUNTY PUBLIC HEALTH IS INVESTIGATING HOW THOSE SIX CASES WERE TRANSMITTED, BUT THEY ALL HAD ONE THING IN COMMON, TREATMENT FROM THE SAME CLINIC. The sign outside Westside Multi Specialty Group, a medical clinic located on the 12th floor of a high rise on Miracle Mile, says they're closed for renovations. The office belongs to a nurse practitioner who told Eyewitness News the renovations have nothing to do with an ongoing investigation by the LA County Department of Public Health. They identified six acute cases of hepatitis C in patients seen at the clinic, but haven't determined how the condition was transmitted. They have done procedures in terms of uh, giving injections or infusions or other procedures uh, that you know could put somebody at risk. Besides the procedures from this clinic, those infected have not reported other forms of blood-to-blood -blood contact, which is how you get hepatitis C. Public Health has sent 500 letters to anyone who was treated at the office between January 2016 and December 2018. The health department says the clinic was closed voluntarily. Hepatitis C causes inflammation of the liver that can lead to serious liver damage and even liver failure. If you did receive care at this clinic, uh, we want you to be aware uh, of the potential uh, exposure to hepatitis C and recommend that you get tested. But the lawyer representing Westside Multi Specialty Group told Eyewitness News his client is not at fault. We're talking about six instances that uh, I don't think they'll ever be able to show or demonstrate causation that goes back to the provider. Richard Moss says there is no proof this is an ongoing problem and sending out hundreds of letters was unnecessary. This is overreaching uh, by the government uh, to magnifying a problem which may be a, a valid problem, but all of a sudden to go out to a, a patient base of 500, and if you think you've been exposed to hepatitis C, County Health says that you should also be tested for hepatitis B and HIV as all three are transmitted the same way. Good news is that treatment is available and those six people who were infected are doing well. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.